We have a bright station. Uh, the Internet Venture Group knows a bargain when it, when it actually sees one. And uh, earlier today, it uh, snapped up the e-commerce technology of the collapsed sports good retailer Boo.com. And it paid what many paying are uh, saying uh, is a knockdown price. Ba Bright Station saying it's planning to incorporate some of that technology into Spatza.com, its own e commerce business, and the rest will be rented out to other internet startups. Here to explain the reasons behind the move today is its CEO, Dan Wagner. Dan, thank you so much for coming in. Now, you've uh, seemed to have. Uh, 70 million pounds, I believe, they spent on their technology, and you've picked it up for a song by the sounds of things. Uh, yes, uh, I think we have. Um, the infrastructure is extremely comprehensive in providing solutions across, uh, I think it's 15 countries in Europe uh, in over 10 languages. And uh, it enables us to offer solutions to retailers and manufacturers, uh, the ability to uh, roll out their e-commerce or their internet solutions uh, using a hosted service by us. So we've been able to pick up the technology and infrastructure for a bargain basement price um, but that infrastructure and technology, you shouldn't be uh, misled by the price we paid, is a very sophisticated, very scalable uh, and very uh, powerful solution that uh, we're able to offer through our Sparza subsidiary. That's fine, but, uh, but what actually will it be able to do? What, what does this framework, if you like, enable Sparza to do? Well, Sparza provides a sort of application service provider service. That means that as a retailer or manufacturer, you're able to walk into our uh, offices and say, I've got this catalog and I service all these customers uh, and I'd like to provide an internet solution here in the UK or in France, Germany, Italy, Spain, uh, whatever. Can you do that for me? And we can say, yes, we can do that and, and implement it within the next couple of weeks. Uh, we believe that the European market uh, in the retail and consumer um, end is, is about uh, uh, to change whereby existing retailers are not going to invest in the infrastructure determined to deliver their solutions to their customers directly. They would rather rent space using uh, sophisticated suppliers like ourselves to provide the infrastructure behind providing a, a, a capable internet solution. So what does the Buddha.com technology actually lay on top of yours? Well, it provides us, I mean, Sparza was previously just focusing on uh, manufacturers and wholesalers and enabling them to uh, manage, use the internet to manage their supply chains and deal with their retailers. We're now able to offer a retail customer uh, such as the high street brands that you have out there today uh, and enable them to roll out a internet based solution for their customers to interact with directly, consumers, and to do that not just in the UK but right across Europe uh, in multiple languages using multiple currencies and we can do that very very quickly and very efficiently. Indeed, let's move on now to uh, the, the other sorts of investments that you're probably going to be making now. What are you looking at? Well, I mean, we are, as Brightstation, we have four businesses that are wholly owned. Sparza is just one of those. Uh, another is Office Shopper, which is an office supply business. And then we have two others in knowledge management and, and uh, internet search for ser uh, services called Smart Logic and Webtop. And both of, all of those businesses are, are wholly owned subsidiaries of the company that have been incubated by the business. And we intend to incubate other businesses within the group, wholly owned incubation, rather than investments in outside opportunities. But where we see opportunities where we can pick up technology or assets at a low cost, such as the case with Boo, we will do so, we'll act quickly, and we'll incorporate that into our existing business. So you're not going to act as an incubator for, let's say, other companies outside? You're strictly well, this, going to... this term about incubator is something that I take uh, issue with, because incubation is creation. And uh, investing in outside companies and taking equity stakes is just venture capitalism. So you're so, not going to enter that uh, territory at all? Well, that's, that's an area that we, we think is well served by lots of venture capitalists. Mm. I mean, we, we create businesses from startup, and we have four, four wholly owned businesses right now, which have been incubated so that they can then move on outside of the business. Uh, our idea or our determination of the word incubation is about creating businesses from, from scratch internally rather than investing in those outside. So you're not somebody who would uh, act like an ideas hub or whatever where somebody comes with an idea and said, okay, we'll help you do it? Well, we might do that, but we're likely to take a controlling interest in that business and we're likely to provide technology as well as office space and other things. So we provide a, a full infrastructure play for those uh, entities. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Dan Wagner there from uh, Bright Station talking about Taboo.com and its technology, which he, by his own admission, has picked up at a bargain basement price. Well, moving on now to a techs which have been leading European stocks higher to